Hello everyone. Welcome to Malware Analysis Crash Course. In this video, I'm going to show how to set up your Malware Analysis Lab to analyze the malware in a closed environment or isolated environment. Why Malware Analysis Lab is required? It will increase your analyzing the speed. A suitable environment will build a framework and identify TTP and IOC. Malware Analysis Lab will help you to get control of what gets in and out of the network so that you will have a more visibility on it. It will decrease the risk of in infection because of it is an isolated environment for your malware analysis so that you're not infecting your host machine. Building the right malware analysis environment is the first step for every malware researcher. When all the system configurations and software installations are complete, you are able to analyze, investigate malware properly. There are different setup methods to create a malware analysis lab. So you can set the malware analysis lab in a two ways. Malware analysis lab you can set up using a window sandbox or you can set up the malware analysis lab using famous Flare VM. You can pick any method which is suitable for you please find the time codes in the description. Before that, the necessary precautions. Keep your virtualization software or operating system up to date. When you are free from the vulnerability, certain mal malware cannot able to compromise and cannot infect your host mission. Do not keep any sensitive information inside the VM, which is your sandbox environment. Always Go for host only adapter or stop the internet connectivity to your host machine. Do not connect any removal media, which is USB. Handle the malware sample with care. So when you are importing the malware sample to lab, analysis lab, always compress it and password protected. Disable the shared folder between your host and the virtual machine. Install antivirus on host machine. In case any malware sample has been escaped or compromised or something, right? So the antivirus will prevent your host machine to get infected. What is Windows Sandbox? Windows Sandbox provide a lightweight desktop environment to safely run application in the isolated environment. Software is installed inside this Windows Sandbox environment, remain sandboxed and run separately from the host machine. So it is a completely isolated box. There is no connectivity between your host machine and this sandbox. So the sandbox is a temporary. When you close it, right, all the softwares and files and the current state of what you created, right, it will be deleted. And you will get a brand new instance of sandbox every time when you open the application. It is an inbuilt feature of Windows operating systems. Uh, and easy to set up. It comes with it Windows 10 and Windows 11 inbuilt feature. All you need to do is you need to enable and you need to run it. Anyway, in a minute, I'll be showing how to do it. So the prequest. So you need Windows 10 Pro Enterprise or Education Built or Windows 11, same. And also you should have a nested virtualization supported hardware. If you're not having a sub nested supported hardware, you cannot able to enable the sandbox and at least 4 GB of RAM you needed and at least 1 GB of free disk space to at least 2 CPU core and you need a Visual Studio code because you are going to configure sandbox configure configurations so that to do that you need a Visual Studio code. In my upcoming malware analysis video sessions you will guys will get a more idea on the tools and how to use it on malware analysis. For now, I am just walking with you with the simple intro to the tools. Here is the list of tools required for malware analysis. PE Studio. It is an excellent tool for conducting an initial trilogy of the malware samples and allow us to quickly pull out any suspicious artifact. Process Hacker. This tool helps malware analysis to see what processes are running on the devices. This can be useful when denoting a piece of malware to see what new processes are created by malware and where these are being run from on disk. Process Monitor. This tool is a powerful tool from the Microsoft organization 
which record live systems activity such as process creation and registries changes. Using this tool, malware analysis can quickly identify what process were created, where the executable were was run from, and the parent-child dependencies and everything. Prop dot. This tool helps malware analysis to put it the output in a, a graphical representation of the data. Auto run. This tool is an another Microsoft tool that will display any installed software on a device that is set to launch when a machine is powered on. Wireshock, it's a very famous tool. This tool for capturing and analyzing network uh, traffic. FakeNet, since this is doesn't means the sandbox doesn't have an internet, so we using this tool uh, which is simulating the network. Uh, simulation tool designed for malware analysis. It redirects all the traffics to the machine to the local host, including hard coded IP traffic and DNS traffic, and implements several protocols to ensure that malicious code continuously to execute and can be observed by an analyst. Hashcal, a fast and easy to use a calculator that allow you computer message digest checksums and hash for the files as well as for the text and hex string. XIT, this tool helps us to read memory, disk, and file type identification. XE Info PE, it is a software that used to view various information on any executable file. UPX, it is a free, portable, extendable, high-performance executable packer for different execution formats and it do excellent comparison ratios and offer very fast decompression. Let's quickly set up the window malware analysis sandbox. So now I'm going to show how to configure the malware analysis lab using a Windows sandbox environment. Uh, before that, we have to quickly enable the sandbox. Go to task manager and uh, go to the performance and you can see that virtualization is enabled. If it is disabled, then you need to go back to the BIOS, your settings, according to your manufacturer and go to the virtualization and enable it and come back and you can see this virtualization is enabled so after you confirm this virtualization is enabled type features the window turn windows features on or off all the way you down and you can see there is a windows sandbox you can see that there is a windows sandbox check that and click ok now we have enabled the sandbox so to check sandbox it's loading okay so sandbox is running on it it's completely plain vanilla flavor nothing is so now we have to configure windows sandbox and it is running on it so i have already created the configuration file so let me walk you with you guys i'll be giving this code in the in the description you can take it over it let me zoom it little more okay so i have started the configuration it's open and i have disabled the virtualized gpu and network i have disabled i don't want internet because anything is then affected then there is a chance of affecting my network or revealing my identity so the whole purpose of malware analysis will be get diluted so i'll just enabling uh, disabling it and audio put i don't want audio this is something uh, and disable the video because if any malware is then they can uh, access my web cameras and they can do it so, so i'm just keeping as much as isolated and uh, protect a client enable it so that RD, there is a security between the rtp and uh, i don't want to share any printer and uh, disable the uh, clipboard option so i don't want to copy paste and everything so using this map folder i just created a host vision so i have created a tools folder and i have loaded all the uh, tools over there uh, i'll be giving the uh, link uh, in the description to download all the tools i have downloaded and i just made an absolute path in the sandbox so that i it so the real uh, path will not be exposed and uh, it will be just mapped as this path uh, if the folder is not there it will create and it'll do it on it and i'm just giving only read only option i don't want to write anything because if malware is trying then it will infect my host machine as well so that is why i'm just giving as a read only and uh, i just created one more uh, forced folder to upload my all the malware sample so that i can download all the malware samples inside my sandbox and uh, i can do a malware analysis investigation and i have created same thing absolute path to the sandbox folder and it is also read only 
So I have closed this one and this is the configuration and it should save this file. Once you return it, you have to save it in the whatever you can name it, but WSB extension, you have to save it. Otherwise, the configuration files will not work and you have to save it in this way. Let me close it and run this box. So you can see that uh, the malware sample folder is again, I want to keep it in the desktop. So it's again created and the, all the tools is there. So you can see all the tools I, uh, whatever I there, it is there. Terminal IP config. So there is no IP. If I ping google.com, there is no completely internet. It is completely isolated. There is no internet. That's it guys. We have created successfully created malware analysis lab using the Windows sandbox. So if I close this one, it will be good. And every time whenever it I open, it's fresh new. And uh, so it's a good thing. Uh, so once you are done with the malware analysis, you can close it. Every time you can fresh start and you can be prevented on it. So let's go back and see how to create a Flare VM. What is Flare VM? Player VM is a freely available and open source Windows based security distribution for reverse engineering, malware analysis, incident responders, forensic departments and penetration testers. Flare VM delivers a fully configured platform with the comprehensive collection of Windows security tools such as debugger, disassemblers, decompiler, static and dynamic analysis utilities network analysis and manipulation web assessment exploitation vulnerability assessment applications and many other it's completely loaded with all the tools you no need to download install anything it's already pre-configured and installed it all you need to do is you need to run the player vm so these are the pre-requests it need a virtualization software it can be a virtual box or vmware for this demonstration i'm using virtual box and uh, you need a windows 7 or windows 10 guest operating system i'll be showing how to download and do things in all. and it, you need at least 60 gb hard disk 2 gb ram and you need a flare vm software let's go and quickly set up the flare vm so microsoft actually providing a virtual machine uh, so it's again the virtual machines expire after 90 days uh, but these are actually their pro windows microsoft actually providing for the developers so that you can select any virtual machine so uh, it can be a windows 7 i'm just selecting a latest one windows 10 so the platform i'm going to use is virtual box and it is same thing you can use it for vmware or hypervisor or parallels if you are a mac user so i am just using a virtual box and download it so i have already downloaded this one so i'm not going to download it again uh, once you download it will be in a zip format you need to uh, extract it once you extract it you will be getting an ova file you need to export that ova file uh, into your virtual box the vm password this is a password uh, to get it into the machine so this is a password they have given it so let's go and see how to export the ova to the virtual box so i have already installed downloaded and installed virtual box so file import the appliance and you need to select the file this is the OVA file I have downloaded and extracted. Open. Next. So I'm just changing the name to Flare VM. And I'm not, apart from that, I'm not touching anything. So I am just importing. So it will take some time. I'll pause this video. I'll come back once it is done. So the Flare VM is successfully done. So let me start this one. So initial state, I'm just providing an internet because i need to download i need to download the flare vm software i need to configure so to do that i need a internet to this box so i'm just allowing it once it is done i'll show you how to disable the internet to this box so now we have successfully logged in so now we have to download the flare vm go to github flare vm code download has zip file save it i'll be giving the link in the description so you don't need to worry about it so i have successfully downloaded the flare vm so now uh, i downloaded in my host machine so let me copy and put it inside my virtual machine so extract all so i'm extracting inside the virtual machine okay so now 
so i have imported the virtual machine now i have to do certain settings uh, before uh, running means before installation so let me close it so first step i need to go to defender i need to end turn off certain things because since it is a malware analysis lab i need to turn off certain things but otherwise right when i am running malware the malware get deleted and the purpose will be not fulfilled here so manage settings and real time protection off cloud delivery protections turn off automatic samples protections yes turn it off so now we i need to one more thing i need to do uh, add folder uh, just complete c drive select it select the folder complete c drives will be excluded from the virus scan so that if i want to export any malware samples i can store it over there it will not be scanning so i need to real protection is off cloud delivery is off auto of sample also off so now uh, let me open the powershell as administrator run as administrator set execution policy to be unrestricted because we are running the script so it should not be blocked at and it is asking for the confirmation yes and now i need to copy this path so i need to run this command as administrator so since it is this one cd copy this one inside one directory and uh, let me run this powershell script to run this powershell script dot slash install ps1 so it says like you have less than 40 gb of free disk or you want to continue uh, yes i'm just giving so password of this machine so it started let me pause it i'll be come back uh, once the installation is complete so finally the installation is completed so when i run the script uh, actually it disabled the windows update and it removed all the bloatware and it has installed uh, all the utilities and tool and the vm was rebooted almost five times it took approximately two hours uh, depends upon your system performance so once you ran the script ran the script right uh, so you can continue with your work and you can come back up to us so exactly you will be looking the same screen uh, things has been installed it so you can see that uh, xe info pa studio process manager Procmon prop dot so whatever the tools we needed it automatically installed it and uh, you can do a manual analysis uh, we have a few more steps pending which manual steps we have to do it so go to mission and take a snapshot name it as clean state uh, you can just for your uh, understanding you can give any snapshot name where after every malware analysis is done right so you can restore the virtual machine to this state so that whenever you are doing the malware analysis it be like a fresh machine uh, so that's why we are taking the snapshot so let's take quickly take a snapshot of it so the snapshot is completed let me go and uh, shut down this machine so that we have to do a, some settings in the virtual machine let me shut down this machine go to settings and ensure the display it should be 61 mb and uh, graphic controller should be vbox svga and uh, disable the remote display go to the network and change it to host only adapter it will be pointing your virtual box adapter audio just uncheck it usb just uncheck it if you have any share folder remove all the share folder click ok so that's all we have successfully configured flare pm i hope you guys have a clear understanding of setting up a malware analysis lab i have given all the links codes and command in the description please check out if you have any question or difficulties in setting up the lab please comment on the video i will write you back at earliest in my next video i will show how to analyze the suspicious link without opening it i hope you guys like this video 
If you like this video, hit the like button. Show your support by giving like, comment, share and subscribing the channel. Please feel free to comment your question or if you have any better malware analysis sandbox to be reviewed, let me know. Comment that as well. Signing off from you. See you soon in next video. Thank you. Bye. Take care.